Hi, um, nice meeting you. I'm Arthur, uh, co-founder of Cedarol. I've been working on this electric tractor uh, with the team for the past uh, two to three years. The uh, company was founded in 2021. We've been actually building this prototype in parallel with building our team. So this is a prototype and what this machine can already do? This, this machine works like uh, any tractor. Uh, it has hydraulics, it has a PTO, uh, it has traction motors. So the idea is to demonstrate the fact that with this very different ar architecture, we can do field work and it has a sufficient power, uh, lift capacity, etc. That it, it basically it works like a tractor. And we start to feel uh, the advantages of an electric machine before uh, having the complete definition of the real machine. So what is the um, like power capacity, autonomy capacity? I think that's criteria that uh, really yeah. interests people. Okay, so this tractor is uh, uh, equivalent to 160 horsepower uh, uh, IC tractor, standard IC tractor. So mid-range horsepower tractor. And it can do anything that a, a 160 horsepower tractor can do with a, a bit more punch actually. Okay, so like for example today, and we're gonna see it later, we have a, a plot in the back of the tractor. And this is the kind of things that the tractor can already do, this yes. prototype. Yeah. What is the key differences between a classic um, architecture of a tractor and this electrical one? As you can see, uh, we started this prototype from uh, an existing machine. Uh, we launched this project with integrators when we were only two, three on, 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 on the project. And uh, as I mentioned, the idea was to learn uh, as fast as we could um, and so we implemented in the tractor the vision of a decentralized power architecture. So we have motors dedicated to different functionalities exactly. We have a motor for the hydraulics, for example, a, mo a motor for the PTO, a motor for traction. Actually, not one motor for traction. I'll let you guess the number of motor motors for traction. Four? Uh, maybe four, maybe three, maybe two. Uh, you don't want to tell. <laughs> uh, but not one. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Uh, the distribution law, the power distribution laws, uh, algorithms, etc. The all, all, all the uh, energy management on this tractor is basically a working prototype in the fields for us to start learning uh, earlier to develop our serial machine uh, more efficiently. So let's talk about the serial machine. For when is it planned, and do you have any? Price range? <laughs> price range is difficult to communicate uh, in early stages of project. What we can tell for sure is that it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be uh, cheaper to buy, but it's going to be cheaper, much cheaper to run. Concerning the main architecture of the next version, will it be like basically like the GCB model with two wheels from the same side? This was an existing machine before we uh, actually uh, completely reworked the internals of the machine. Um, the reason for uh, going with this machine at the beginning is because it's one of the only ones that has a chassis. So it was simpler to integrate everything. Uh, our next tractor will also have a frame, uh, but it's thought with the specificities of uh, field applications. And for field applications, we believe actually that uh, bigger wheels at the back and smaller for wheels traction. at the front for traction makes sense. For revealing the serial definition of the track, we plan to reveal it in 2025. Concerning the weight, you said that you use the mainframe, so I guess you are not... What is your targeted weight? Actually, this machine is uh, lighter than what it was before uh, we, work, uh, we worked on it. It's uh, 7.2 tons. Our studies are sufficiently advanced so that we can say we will land around 8 tons. 8 for, tons? Yeah, around 8 tons. Yeah. For the same uh, power? For the same power, shorter wheelbase, bigger wheels, our cabin, our frame, etc. Yeah. Okay. You can mm -hmm. maybe uh, go on the cab, and I guess that's a classic cab, but uh, maybe you have a couple things to show us. M maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is the autonomy of uh, this tractor with uh, such a plot in the back? You can work around yeah, uh, one and a half hour, but the idea is that uh, you know, we are completely redesigning our serial definition tractor around the battery. So the range you can expect on, on our next tractor is actually around times four that. So you will be able to plow for yeah, around six, six, uh, six hours. And the idea uh, is you can add uh, a, a battery instead of uh, just a dead weight at the front which you cannot swap. You can also fast charge the tractor in two hours. So let's say you can do a six hour half day plus two hours of charging plus six hours. Two hours of plowing in a day, it's enough. And, and even if you add like uh, four times more battery and autonomy on the machine, you will still be able to fast charge uh, in two hours, three hours yeah. of tractor? Uh, yes. Well, this is a, a very basic onboard charger, but our, our next tractor will be able to, to DC fast, fast charge in two hours, yes. Okay, okay, that with, makes sense. With uh, the added battery capacity. So uh, let's see it uh, running. Anything special in the cab you would like to talk about? No, it's really a standard cab. You yeah. have a screen here. It's your yeah, own screen. It's our screen. It's used mainly for error messages, but yeah. Okay. So let's, let's go. go. Wow. 
with such a plow. Yeah, it, it depends on the soil conditions, but today it's 9, 10. Okay, 9, 10. And we don't feel anything, basically. We don't hear anything. Yeah, it's, it's completely silent. Yeah. You cannot hear the motor going higher RPMs. It's a very nice uh, job to do in an electric tractor. Yeah. 